always takes a couple times, spelling it out, slowing it down. So, you know, I guess people aren't familiar with it. One of the things that's really attracted me to, uh, to the pine uh, and its pollen is really from a nutritional standpoint, it's, it's valuable and um, it's got a lot of uh, dense nutrients. It's, uh, it's a source of bioidentical hormones. It can act as a hormone regulator. Um, it's a superfood of glory. Once I found out about these buds, it actually changed my perspective about the, the forest and the trees. All of a sudden you're looking at this um, expanse of land and, and uh, there are pine trees and, and it, it becomes an orchard. It's, it's actually a fruit tree. And we figured out, you know, with all the pine trees around, we could probably go get some ourselves and just see what it is, see what, see what the difference between the stuff we wild harvest and the stuff that we're getting that's coming from other places. We just felt it was a better product. It was just get a lot more uh, energy from it. You know, it was sourced naturally. That's probably a lot of it too, just knowing that we're, we, we, we sourced it ourselves and we're consuming a product that we actually went out and got ourselves was pretty rewarding. And I think it was also nice to know that you were getting like a live superfood that you know, no questions asked that it's pure, so. That idea of trying to use this resource and build a sustainable economy around it was really what was striking. We mimic nature in a controlled environment. So what we do is pick the buds before they pollinate and then we put them on drying racks and then we extract the pollen. The whole cell uh, has a way of preserving itself by, by being whole. And as soon as you crack that, you're exposing it to air and whatnot. So we would just simply remove this um, without cracking, without uh, breaking up the, uh, uh, the buds, without introducing any residual elements to it. Canadian pine pollen. I would say it's sustainable superfoods. I think it's um, bringing attention to the world that we have uh, nutritional supplements in our own backyard, and we don't have to um, we don't have to search around the world for them. We're very blessed as a country, and we're overlooking what we have in our own backyard as resources. Being a seasonal harvester really is, this product has got like a two year shelf life once it's actually pulled out of the, uh, the buds. But uh, being, being seasonal, we have this ability to actually manage how much we harvest. Um, so we, um, everything we, we harvest, we harvest for projections for the next year so that our product is always fresh from that year. When you come out here um, and you're on the land and, and, and the elements start, you know, washing away that, that noise of the city, um, there is a quiet that happens naturally. Um, there's, there's a connection that happens. In nature, it's created an abundance just to blanket the forest floors. And I mean, so many other, uh, whether it's bugs, it's animals, it's, it's actually nutritious for the soil, just in order to encourage the first growth spurt of spring. It's part of Canadian wilderness whether we really know about it or not oh, it's very rewarding we got a superfood that we harvested ourselves knowing that it's basically the purest product you can get I mean for myself that's great I feel very good about taking it I think the hard work itself is rewards of, of the job because you realize how much work it goes into collecting the buds how much work it goes into uh, drying them and, and then finally getting it into that jar. Get up in the first thing in the morning and just put that in your, in your food and your smoothie and just opening up the cap and 
there it goes. There is a lot of steps that have gone for that bottle to be uh, to be at hand. Um, so making that connection is really, um, really of in itself rewarding. I find that most people that do take it um, are repeat customers. And for me, that's just a sign of a really good product. I mean, it really blows me away on some of the some of the testimonials we get sometimes on the product and how it's improving different people's lives in different ways and how they appreciate it. And hearing people how they're grateful that we're out doing this is uh, rewarding. I mean, after a long day's work sometimes and you wonder what the hell we're doing, doing this for, and uh, you get a comment like, keep it up and I'm sure, so glad you guys are doing this. It's really uplifting and, you know, keeps us going. It gives us the energy to keep on going.